Today we're doing a tutorial video in real time that will show you how you can create some nice clouds for your landscapes. For this tutorial I'm using Asprite software, a 120 by 80 pixel canvas, and this palette I created. The link to the palette is in the description. Okay, to get started we're going to go up to New File, and for our canvas we're going to do 120 by 80 pixels here. And then once we get into our picture, let's adjust the preview window. And the first thing we're going to do is load our palette. So to do that, we go up to the options menu here, load palette. And this cloud palette here is the one we're going to use. You can get this from the link in the description. All right. So then our first layer, we're just going to go ahead and rename that shift P and then we'll just call that sky and we're going to use our darkest value here and just paint bucket that in. We're going to create a new layer shift N and then shift P to rename this to cloud. And we're going to start by selecting our mid-tone value here. And we're going to use about a four pixel brush here. And we're just going to stencil in the silhouette of our clouds. Just making some random cloud shapes here. We'll have it kind of climb up into the sky on the right side. Then we'll, whoops, paint bucket it in, but we want to make sure continuous is selected up here. Okay, there's kind of the outline of our clouds. Next, we're going to select everything in our cloud layer using the magic wand tool, W to select that tool. And we're going to select one value brighter here. And we're just going to paint in some of the sunward facing clouds with this brighter value. Real loose with our strokes here. Our sun is in the, the top left corner of the screen in this one. There are some areas where it bleeds into the clouds a little more. Okay, that seems good. And then for our even brighter value, we're going to come in, maybe zoom in a little bit, and just hit some of the edges here. Especially the ones that are directly facing the sun. Won't overdo that one. Okay. We're going to deselect and select the midtone value that we've got in the clouds right now with the magic wand tool. My tolerance was set too high. Let's try that again with a tolerance of zero. That should select just a single color. And we'll come in with our dark color down here. And we'll kind of paint in some darker sections. These bits are going to be hidden from the sun a bit and we'll fill in down below here all right so now we've got the flat colors of our clouds laid out the next thing we want to do is mix these colors a little bit so for this we want our paintbrush our pencil tool and about a three pixel brush here 
and we'll just select the colors and using kind of swirling motions, mix them into one another. I like to work within a single couple colors here where one color meets another, then go back and do a different one later. It is possible to over mix here, so be careful about that. Okay. Do this darker bit here, mix the mid-tones in there. It doesn't always have to be the swirling motion. So now that our colors are a bit swirled into one another, the next thing we can do is kind of blend these volumes a little bit. So we'll go down to a brush size of one, and we just wanna make a shape that we can select that is a two by two grid with alternating colors kitty corner to one another. So like this in this case. Once you have that selected, you do control B and now we've got a brush made out of those colors and we want to make sure up here that pattern is aligned to destination and then zooming out here we can just add some of this dithering brush in doesn't have to be everywhere A little bit can go a long way. We can uh, select new colors for our dithering brush by holding down Alt, selecting a foreground color and a background color, and that will change both colors of the, the brush here. There we go. And we want to do the same with the darker to mid-tone intersections here. Okay, so we've got some clouds now, but these all seem to be one big blob, and we want to break those up into a few different structures and show some overlap. And the way we can do that is by selecting this bright color here. We go back to our regular brush. If you're still on your two by two brush, you can hit escape to discard that. And we can just slide this down here and slide some mid-tones in here as well. And this is just going to help show some overlapping of this big structure to the small one behind. And then we can do that here as well. go back and get our dithering brush and just kind of help these shapes here help the transition of these lines oh, there we go There we go, that's an easy way to make some nice big clouds. You can spend some more time using more colors, get more edge lighting of these brighter values, even on the back sides of some of these clouds. It all depends on how your lighting works. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on making some quick and easy 
pixel art clouds thanks for watching